everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. We're currently going through this dungeon here. We got RNA on our team. I accidentally found a warp tile. This thing I need now. Eyes peeled, ah! not closed. <laughs> Say your prayers. Knocked rules. No big deal. <laughs> After this part, we'll be going into episode Gladio. Keep your dirty hands off me, you witch. RNA has got to move. What I tell you? the hands to yourself? Oh, I'm all the way over here alone again? How nice. I love it when you don't when there's no one to support me. These bastards keep getting stronger. Oh why you're there fighting them? Gotta nip the danger in the bud. The Empire's no exception. Yeah, right on. Gonna set it better myself. Again. Like, you guys are the ones fighting here. I've been literally doing this dungeon solo, which probably would suck if I didn't do what I did earlier to get my level up. This is why I level grind, for when instances like this shit happen. And I wonder what the boss is gonna be. Orc will send me. I still don't know what the hell we're gonna do with those. There's oh, RNA and spacious. They're so gonna be a big nasty here. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I figured it would have been some kind of fish to them. Not too tough. Just right. Show with that. Maybe when I can. Uh -huh. Wow, that was embarrassing. I know. See ya. I need to stay on the ground so I can do my ability and not, you know, probably waste it somehow. Here we go. Knocked. Appreciate it. Now here, Prompto's here. Where are you flying off to? Let's put it out of its misery. All right. Check out over here. Is this what we need? We're alive. Ah, that concludes our business here. Hey, Commodore. Aranea. You said the Empire uses demons to make weapons? Listen, you've seen Magitek troopers, right? MTs. They're born from demons in a lab. Born from demons? Darkness is coming. If I were you, I'd watch my princely ass. A kingly ass. Will do. I like this woman. <laughs> Air. Made it out in one piece. Indubitably. Congrats. That concludes your training. You've still got a hard path ahead. But don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> you may have been hired under false pretenses, but your assistance was invaluable all the same. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. 
You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Araneo. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, His Excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I've just received word from Cindy. And? We're to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Make sure you're prepared. Damn, an RNA left us this sucks. Should we say goodbye to such a nice fishing spot? Wanna see what's biting before we bolt? Where'd that white come from? Temper temper. You're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? Yep. You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. Look at that! A red ship. There goes the trophy party of three. And then we're just gonna have Gladio drop in and be like, hey, I'm back. What happened with you boys? <laughs> Look at that! Look at me all the way down there and Ignis all the way in here. Uh, screw it, we'll just take this picture of RNA. I think that little weird rabbit fox thingy is in the ground in the picture next to her. Seaworthy. As far as I know, I do believe I have heard that I probably... That chapter 8 is actually a point of no return. Like, seriously. There's 14 chapters in the game, but chapter 8 is, uh where I need to finish everything, apparently. So, I guess all the rest of the chapters from after chapter eight are gonna be way short, which is actually would be funny. I'm actually kind of surprised how I've been blazing through. It's like the exploration took so long and the story is kind of just going, but there's a lot of stuff I still need to pick up and a lot of other stuff I still need to do. But thankfully we can do the Gladio DLC so I can at least get some footage to upload to, you know, kill time until I get those other objectives completed. Which I think right Rise after and this... Rise shine, Prince Charming. We're here. Sounds like a spot of troubles popped up at the power plant. Hmm, wish I could help, but I'm powerless to do anything I'm not ordered to. I'll leave the keeping of the peace to you. Of course. We got this. Good luck, boys. Several hours of tour. What's going on? Loving that outfit, now. What the hell? Why don't you wear one? Oh, well, that's the only one. And if anyone stands a fighting chance in there, it's you. Forget about fashion and go. What the hell? What? I'm just getting thrown in here. I don't even. There's demons in there. <clears throat> Testing. Do you read me? Just wanted to thank you for offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle. But two of you should be fine. Is it core? And a little heads up. We're getting some unstable readings from the generators inside. Too much power and the whole place could blow. So be quick. We'll do. Plenty of Gladio's already in there. This is the door, I guess. I gotta go around. Can I not sprint in this suit? Can't even dodge in it. So, you my backup? Oh I my thought god. we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a second. 
You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Now, if we're done with the introductions, follow me. Bro, it, it's just Gladdy. definitely upload some of the Gladio DLC stuff. You ready to rumble? I'm going to have uploaded the Gladio DLC stuff before this episode. Um, so, yeah. By the time you're seeing this episode, I've already done the Gladio... The Gladio DLC stuff will already be uploaded, but I haven't done the Gladio DLC stuff yet at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Hot. Some pretty fancy moves you've got there. Reminds me of a certain king I know. Can't see that. Not too shabby yourself. You'd make a good sparring partner. <laughs> you think so? Why are we sitting here acting like this? Well, you know who I am. I know who you are. She's gonna blow! Abort the mission and get out of there! I ain't one to leave unfinished business. I can't speak for him, though. Then allow me. I got this. Well, yeah. how about you prove it? Gladly. Five minutes? Oh, they must have a lot of them spawning. Had all of them? Think okay, so. I did not need that nice much time. Job. It didn't disappoint. When have I ever? <laughs> Keep it up. Will do. Now, let's scram. Actually, we might do some of that Gladio DLC stuff in the middle of this. I might just edit it in a certain way. I don't know. Or I could just save this footage and leave it for later. Probably will. I think that's what I'll do. Because they tell me to get on that boat right now, and I can't get, like, any other, like, side Great quest done or anything. There. As Man. promised, here's your mithril. And, uh... Thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Oh, not bad. Whoa. It's a scar on him. On you, though. you should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. Knocked? Gladdy? I can't believe it! Hey. Thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So... Gladdy, did you apologize to Noct for storming off like that? He made it up to me in there. The power plant? Oh, so you got your hands on some mithril. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayim when you're ready. Oh, hell no, I ain't bored of no boat. Hey, Gladdy, please tell me that you still have all your equipment on. Looks like the only thing he doesn't is... Where the fuck? Where'd that come from? What the hell? I don't... Wait. What the hell? These must be the Final Fantasy XIV outfits. Prompto actually... He doesn't look too bad. I think he actually looks better in that. Okay, as I figured. Prompto looks kind of good in that. I wish I knew I had it earlier, though. Okay, I gotta be honest, it's actually awkward with him to wear, with him being the only one in a completely different colored outfit. How long have we had that? I'm sure we would talk to Iris to do that. What, Gladdy has a side quest over there. And there's apparently one for Iris down that way. Alright, let's go pick up our side quests. I'm at least gonna fill out this video and then um, use it for later. But we're definitely, for me, it's gonna be that the last episode of the main story that I did is when I know I can start, you know, uploading the Gladio episodes, which I'm gonna, you know, start working on right after this video. 
Did anything that happen I while I was gone? You know. Yeah. The car got... Hey, do you think we could swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec? I like cup noodles as much as anyone, but I think you might like them a little too much, big guy. There's nothing else like them. They're easy to make whenever you've got a craving, and they're delicious to boot. I'll never forget my first time. Must have been real eye-opening after all the fine dining you did before that. Something dawned on me when I was on my own. Any food you make tastes better when you use good ingredients, right? Then, if you take something already delicious like cup noodles and add in the finest, freshest ingredients, what do you get? The ultimate flavor experience. So I ask you, Noct, what's your favorite ingredient? Hmm. Hmm. Some egg with them noodles. A lot of places will serve you a hard boiled egg with your noodles, but when it comes to cup noodles, I say if your egg ain't scrambled, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. It's a subtle difference most people overlook, but not you. You get it. All that's left is to make our noodle dream a reality. First up, the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> nice. Gather intel about the area for the perfect cup of noodles. So, remember how I picked something up at the market the other day? Is that uh, a move? I think so. Well, this is for you. What is it? You put your life on the line every day. So, I wanted you to have a little insurance. A lucky charm. It's called a Moogle. This one's gonna look out for all you guys. Keep him by your side, and he'll take care of you. And if he gets roughed up, I'll take care of him. I'll be in Kayim. Later. <laughs> Nock is like, what the fuck? Throw the Moogle at him. Just like, oh, we're getting in trouble. We need some help. Get the Moogle. Damn, if we're going to be going through a whole quest about the perfect cup noodles. Makes me want to go get my own ramen noodles right now, but oof. Gotta finish the recording session at least. Then we can eat. I definitely won't be able to make it through each night's recording session without eating. Would you like something to eat? No, let's gather intel about the area. Oh, uh, okay. We have to go all the way up there? Thank you. Please come again. Climb to the top of the rock. Oof, another one? Alright, hold on. Slow your roll, buddy. We have cats all the way... Cats? Quests? Where did I get cats? Well, if we can get ourselves on down to the car. Okay, considering the boat ride is a point of no return, I should also go do the Terror Wars quest as well. Might not do the Gladi DLC stuff just yet, or I should. No, I'm just trying to fill out this video for later. I definitely have to go do the Gladio DLC right after this session. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Are we doing this manually? Wait, hold on. Wait, why are we doing this manually? Wait, stop. Man, it's hot. Hot. More like sweltering. Why are we doing that man? Wait, why didn't you teleport me there? That's a teleport spot, isn't it? Oh. Oh, but apparently that one is. I still have to drive up there. Damn it. 
I'm stuffed. My compliments to the chef. My pleasure. Did you enjoy your time with the Marshal? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, uh... What's that thing on your face? This? Yeah, X marks the spot. That's nah, just a scratch. The other guy got off a lot worse. <laughs> worse than looking like some kind of thug? Speaking of which, who was this other guy? <laughs> they call him... The Blade Master. So that's how you got it. What do you think? Very perpendicular. Really compliments the one you got when you saved Nock from that bully. Yeah. Only difference is, this time, I ended up taking a pretty bad beating, too. Uh, not unlike the licking the Marshal received back when he was a lad. Must have had a lot of guts to go up against Gilgamesh back then. Yeah. Dad said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, then he's haunted those halls for some two millennia. That's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arrive? You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. Give me a break! And I as well. <sighs> Just because you got a shield to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. But if you do, I'll be ready. Uh, hey there, brother. Hi? Don't act so surprised. I know a fellow hunter when I see one. Uh, right. And, as my brother, I was hoping you might take care of a little problem for me. A problem named Melazine. Melu who? A real pretty lady who appears at the Vesper Pool in the dead of night, luring in fellows who can't see she's a demon in disguise. She's already had her way with a handful of hunters. What do you say? Avenge your brothers? Fine. Anything for the family, right? Attaboy. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. Family, right? Attaboy. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Isn't it wrong to lay your hands on a girl? If she's really as irresistible as they say, you'll be lucky if you can keep your hands off her. Do remember we're dealing with a demon. Try to keep your hormones in check. What <laughs> <laughs> this damn sloshing of the water? You can't even hear what the hell's going on. But we're supposed to find some dog tags out here. Lord knows where the fuck those are. Aranea, she's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit the Imperial Army profile. Come on, don't get stuck now. How am I gonna find these damn tags in this big ass area? Oh well, you narrowed it down for me, so that helps. Hop off. Hop off. Hop uh, off. Uh, thanks, buddy. <sighs> hey! Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled. Yeah! Not closed. <laughs> Say your prayers. <laughs> Gladio! Don't miss. You know what? Speaking of. <laughs> Hit it, Gladio. Just... <laughs> it's Gladio's <laughs> turn. <laughs> Got it on its last legs. Let's put it out of its misery. Swift and painful. Nice. Is Pretty it free evening, evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. So the thing should be like around here. It's usually by the monsters that you fight. Usually. <sighs> or is it not? 
It's gotta be around here, right? Watch out! Oh, what in the fuck? I mean, what if he's Let me the give one? the orders this time. Just keep it short and simple. Attack! Pronto! Yes, sir. Damn it, come on. There we go. Got it. Let us see that it's returned home. What I gotta do is figure out where the other side quest was over here. What the hell? Level 99! And you get that. You would have gotten a Magitek suit from it? Uh, if that's how it goes, why do I already have a Magitek suit? You know what I mean? Oh, Jesus. Why, why do I have to go so far? I gotta say, Aranea really impressed me today. With her outfit? Well, yeah, that too. It's just, I always had this impression that the Empire was filled with nothing but jerks. She certainly doesn't fit the mold. Really makes you wonder. You think she, she was okay with the raid on the Citadel? Ask her yourself. I wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? You seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy. RNA or Cindy? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. I have no doubt both of them can wait. What the hell? Oh man, huh. why do I have to go? This sure looks like it leads somewhere. It's oh, this is a whole Let's new dungeon. Let's take a look around. Wait, this what? is a whole new dungeon. Oh. This place is a jungle. Abundant in not only flora, but fauna as well. Okay, so this is oh, a whole new thanks, dungeon. Thanks, buddy. Hmm. Well then, we're gonna end this episode a whole five minutes earlier, so that next time I can just straight up explore this dungeon and, you know... Cause every night I will save your life